Aloha guys, <laughs> we are back in Maui. Um, so we're gonna show you a little bit of Madrid, but we were only there for a couple days. We didn't get a whole lot of footage. So we'll show you that in a little bit. But other than that, we are gonna talk about what else? Gonna talk about. Talk about. Um, talk well, about. so we watched back the last vlog that we did and we realized that we really don't have minimalist suitcases. We were watching it and we were yeah. like, okay, and then I have this and this and this. I was like, we still have a lot of crap we don't need. So we are downsizing again. So we're gonna go into the tiny house after we show you some of Madrid and we're gonna show you everything that we're downsizing again for about the, what, fifth, sixth, seventh time? But we have know. still <laughs> accumulated like a bunch of crap. And then at the very end, we are going to show you some of our adventure from the cliff house. So yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> so let's cut to Madrid. Hola guys, we are in Madrid. Just got done eating breakfast. Yeah, we got in last night and I forgot to vlog, but we went to a really cool rooftop bar. It was the top of the Oscar Hotel. There was an awesome view. We had some cocktails up there. It was really fun. Super and then cool. we just walked around the city, got some food and now we're hanging out. It's our last day in Madrid. We've only, we're only going to be here for two days, which is kind of sad. We're but. super sad. We want to explore Spain more. I know. I wish we would have had more time here. We absolutely love Spain. It's amazing. So you guys will see some of the city. Just our one day. Yeah, we're going to head to the San Miguel Market and the Plaza Mayor. which took way longer than we expected and then I had to go through like three extra security pat down checkpoint things. I have no idea why. Apparently I look suspicious. <laughs> so I'm recording on my phone right now because my camera's packed up and it was kind of hectic getting on the plane. 
And there's a baby crying. And there's a baby crying. So let's hope that that does not last the whole day. I love babies. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back in Maui now inside the hut. I'm gonna show you where we keep all of our clothes and kind of the situation that's going on over here right now. So this is where all of my clothes are, believe it or not. Everything fits in these drawers, but right now like I can barely, I guess they're not too bad right now. Probably probably because I have a lot of laundry I need to do. Usually they're like overflowing. This one you can kind of tell it's like so full that I like almost can't shut it. So a lot of crap I need to get rid of in there. And then these two are Eric's. He has more clothes than I do, but he does have to wear real clothes to work sometimes. So we can't blame him for that. But his are pretty full too, almost overflowing. And then we've got some crap back there. So we're gonna start getting rid of some stuff right now. Okay, so this is everything that we just got rid of. We thought we were only gonna need one bag, but it turns out we need almost two full bags of clothes, like just from there. So that's pretty crazy. Um, so we're gonna try and we're actually probably just gonna donate all this. I think if you're if you're downsizing and you have a bunch of clothes, it might be worth it to try and sell them if you have like a, a place nearby that's like a retail, what is it called? Like a, a secondhand store. Oh yeah, like a secondhand store. But I don't know of any of those here and none of my stuff is really nice enough to sell. So we're probably just gonna donate it all. So if we inspired anybody out there to downsize their clothes, make sure to come back and leave us a comment below and let us know how many bags of stuff you got rid of, if you sold it, or if you donated it. Okay, so that downsize was actually pretty quick for us considering that we've done it now quite a few times, but if you're somebody who's starting from scratch and you have a lot to go through and you just feel overwhelmed, um, my best tips would be start with going through everything and making three piles. So you probably have one pile of stuff that you know that you don't want. You probably have one pile of stuff that you know you do absolutely want to keep. And then you probably have a pile of stuff that's kind of in the, I don't want to get rid of it because I might need it one day sort of pile. So in that pile, um, ask yourself three questions. One, does it make you happy by keeping it or do you just love it or is it beautiful number two have you worn it in the past six months or number three do you have a plan or some sort of event that you're planning on wearing it to so answer each of those questions so definitely keep it if it's just beautiful and makes you happy to have keep it for sure um, if you've worn it in the past six months you'll probably wear it again so definitely keep that um, and then number three if you have a plan for like say it's a a dress you're gonna wear to a wedding or something like that or a nice black dress that you wear like once a year or something like that definitely keep that um, okay so that was really short to just help you guys get started I also have a free worksheet that's called the five steps to downsizing so we'll link it below so make sure to grab that if you're kind of just getting started in your downsizing journey I go through a bunch of different stuff finances clothes determining your why for why you want to do this in the first place so definitely grab that we'll link to it below so also when I was going through my photography backpack when we were in Portugal, I said I didn't use my GoPro at all. Um, so I wanted to do a giveaway on my Instagram. So it's the GoPro Hero 3 and I have a couple accessories with it, like three batteries, a couple different mounts, a floaty back, and so I'll be sending all that to you. So let me know on my Instagram why you want it and hopefully you'll win. Hey guys, we just got to the cliff house in Kapalua. So we're gonna do some snorkeling and maybe jump off a cliff or two. Yeah, and I'm meeting my friend here. Um, haven't seen him since like probably grade school, but he happened to be on the island, so I'm gonna meet up with him. So we'll show you the action. Get some cinematics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
that's it for this week, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up or hit subscribe if you are a fan and definitely remember to let us know if you start downsizing and how it goes. See you next week. Aloha. And a hooey ho. <laughs> that was good. And away we go.